And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast. We got Conceal in the fucking building, baby. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, we got a show plan for you guys. Let's get into Let's it. Let's go. Man. Hey, right. what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Fresh Fit Podcast, man. We got Conceit in the house. Quick announcement before we get into the show, man. Uh, I'm very excited for this one, guys. I'm sure you guys know. It's going to be lit. Uh, <laughs> Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, guys. We get all the information there as far as like how to womanize, make money, real estate, cryptocurrency, everything as far as becoming a better guy. You know what I'm saying? We got y'all over there. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit. Help us hit 1,000 sub uh, um, patrons over there. I think we're at like 700 something. So we just need a three, another 300, hit our goal, and then we're going to have that big Zoom call we told y'all about celebration so patreon.com slash fresh fit also guys dms on demand system.com we are live we're gonna close it on friday, friday so make sure you get in now while you can and we're gonna do the zoom calls this weekend also we're on spotify google and apple Podcasts. chris uploads every morning uh on anchor and then it distributes it to whatever podcast platform you like to listen to whether it's spotify or something smaller like Castbox. we're there so check us out over there also merch Freshfitpodcaststore.com. Get the for example t shirts, the you know, hoodies, hoodies, t-shirts, everything. I feel like shirts. They're all there. So check it out. Um, and then also, guys, we got another YouTube channel. It's called Fresh Fit Clips. If you guys don't have two to three hours to watch casts, you know, or the one on one interviews with special guests, uh go out. And of us outside the studio when we're getting lit. Uh, when we travel, all that stuff, check it out on the vlog channel, Fresh Prince CEO. Yep. And then uh, also, Chris, you want to talk about your Twitch channel? Yeah, follow me on Twitch on Aaron Poxon. I do streams with the ladies and post show. So tune in. Let's get it, Merch Gang. Yep. And uh, it's hard to understand them over there as well, guys. So uh, <laughs> check them out over there on Twitch. Twitch. <laughs> all right. And then uh, for any video reactions, guys, DM our audio engineer slash YouTube strategist, Trade Talk Sports. Uh, and yeah, man. So, bro. <laughs> Without further ado, Wait, first of all, well, Mikey, you niggas have a whole system here. Had a camera just turned around. On <laughs> that was fucking crazy. Yo, we out here. Yo, <laughs> we shit. got considered in the, the fucking building, building man. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah, the Living one himself. Uh, considered. I know who you are. Trey mm -hmm. definitely knows who you are. Mm -hmm. uh, can you um, can you tell the people uh, introduce yourself to the people for those that may not know? Uh, I for the people who who don't know, my name is Conceited. Um, I started off battling, started off bat battle rapping. A lot of people know me from Wildin' Out, um, the, the other show that I did, Singled Out, when that came back. Um, Sneaker Wars, another show I, I do, but Wild Wildin' Out and Battling is where everybody re really knows me from. So, mm. and if you haven't, then hop hop on the computer, your phone, all that. Take a look and fall in love, man. Hey, Chris, pull up his Instagram page real quick because you got to go follow the brother, man. He's extraordinary, legendary as well. So welcome to the studio, bro. Thank and you, for thank the OGs, you, right? <laughs> and from this sound effect right here, right? Don Don DeMarco. DeMarco. You guys Shout know out to from, my man, Don DeMarco. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys know him for, you know, the battle rapping before Well and Out, you know, mm -hmm. where he was destroying guys on stage. You know what I'm saying? Because... We were talking about this earlier, and, and, and we're going to get your background and how you grew up, but guys, what you guys see on Wild and Out, because that's what you're most famous for now, you know, yeah, congratulations nah, yeah. to you for that, that's thank huge, you, bro, because you. Um, you're, you're, you're like worldwide now, very mm -hmm. famous. Um, what I know you for, and a lot of people, is the stuff prior to the Wild and Out, like the, the battle rap on there, because like what you guys see on Wild and Out is like, kind of... It's watered down, it's bro, compared to what he normally is. Completely, completely, completely. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, yeah, but you He's just gotta. yeah, you, you have to. I yeah. remember, I remember one time it was my second season, so I came back for the reboot. So when I well, well, now first came back, that was 2013. Mm -hmm. The next year, that was, that was season five. We did season six in 2014, mm -hmm. and then when I I remember I came through at, at this point. I'm like, you know, the fan favorites. Cut the beat is lit, all that. <laughs> so I'm thinking anything I say, they're just gonna go crazy regardless. Yeah. 
I went there with some cra- like some real battle shit yeah. towards them Nick and the crowd was like what the fuck is <laughs> So when I saw that, I'm like, oh. So then I flipped it right back to, you know, some real simple, simple shit. And then they, boom, bell, yeah. all that. So at the, at the end, Nick and Nick was like, yo, that line was crazy. But he said, that shit is not for here. He said, they're not here to think. They're yeah. here to laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. once he said that, I said, fuck it. Yeah. Never right. again. Yeah. Wow. Never again. So yeah, because it was uh, bars. <laughs> yeah, and, but the thing is, it fucks you up though because I mean, I, I you know I came from writing that shit, so mm. I was like, damn, it's so hard to really mellow it so like down so fucking low, you know, dear dear to the point where it's like, damn, this is not what I usually do. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, what I mean, I just basically did it enough to where I just found a median. I mean, I could still put my swag to it and still, you know what I mean, deliver it to where you know I mean, people are like, yo, okay, I like it. It's funny. It's fire. I get it. So Drek, cut the beat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? There you Man, go. Uh, so, so Khan, can you tell the people like uh, before you know, obviously the fame, the rap, and everything else, like and the battle rapping. Can you tell them like where you grew up a little bit about your background? Oh, Hold yeah. on, real quick. So, oh, what's this up? special mention because. Uh, but I'll trail this way possible, man. And I met uh, Conceited at Live. Humble guy, really upstanding gentleman. And he said, "You know what? I'll come on the show, show some love to you guys." In is that is that my man Cody? He just paid. Mm-hmm. Oh, Cody K, Katie, did, yeah. did he pay? And yeah, that nigga's mad con- cheap. So if you pay, <laughs> that is that that right there is like five hundred dollars for y'all. Y'all should be happy. Oh, that right there, Cody good KD. shit. Yeah, Kobe KD goes. My homie Khan finally got Yo. on the podcast. This will be fire. Hey, there you go, man. <laughs> that right Shout there is like five hundred. Oh, man. Man. Read this real quick. You want to, yeah, uh, you want to start? I'll read them after the first of cool. the first part of the interview because I know we had y'all waiting, bro. So I, yeah. I, I don't want to hold you guys uh, from away. So, uh, Kai, can you tell the people a little bit about uh, where you grew up and everything? I know this, but yeah, you know, yeah. for the people. So, so everybody, I'm from Brooklyn originally, but um, I was actually always back and forth here because my mother moved here when I was uh, like 11, 12. So, I mean, I was always coming back and forth, back and forth. And I even went to a couple years of um, high school here to actually three, three years of high school here, Flanagan. Oh, Flanagan. If anybody had, yeah, ever knows Flanagan. From Flanagan. Um, yeah, so, I mean, but, like, you know, I just, I just always still had, you know what I mean, because I was always back and forth. So I just, you know, just always had that New York, that Brooklyn swag. And I mean, it's just not, not New York. It's Brooklyn. It's different. Yeah, yeah it's different. You know what I mean? It's just yes. a confidence, an arrogance, a swag that just can't be replicated no yet anywhere. So, I mean, yeah, that was that I was always dope. And, you know what I mean, the transition to, to here, it was cool because, I mean— the school that I went to, like I said, it was a lot of people from up north. I mean, and it was just like a big fashion show. Like, the school's like a fucking runway. New York don't play, bro. Style is everything. Yeah, style is everything. So, and then, so I mean, having that shit here too and bringing it, it was just like, it was just like, it just felt like home. So, I mean, it was lit. Mm. Did you go to college? Did you end up going to college or? No. No? Not there's anything wrong with college. Go to college. <laughs> <laughs> go to college. Just that I just knew, and the crazy part is my mother, even um, even, even um, knew too, I was going to go to go to college to be a surgical tech. Damn. Um, oh, shit. I, it just sounds fancy. It's just the nigga that just hands the surgeon all the. <laughs> oh, okay. Shit. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go, sir. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. It just, it just sounds. It just sounds. Well, it sounds good though. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, bitch, I'm a surgical tech. Oh, I'll suck your dick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah. It, the, 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 the forty ball, real quick. Me, me, my man. We actually have a joke. I have a joke, but people like try to dress up their um jobs. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> he was like, I was like, yo, what do you do, son? And then he said, oh, yo, I just got a new job, and I'm a. Uh, he said. I look over a waste management at a cancer re- research firm. I was like, "What, nigga? You're a garbage man?" He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> I, was like, nigga, I, was like, nigga, I look over waste management. You're a fucking janitor, nigga. <laughs> this, this the fuck is you real, about? yo. Uh, but that's funny. Um, what were we saying? What, what, yeah, what no, just, no. Uh, no, we were talking. Oh about yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah um, so my um, mother was like, "Yo, you should do it." Now, I mean, you learn a trade. It'll be quick. It'll be hands on. Out. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right. But then she finally would just like, yo, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be wasting. Like, she's going to be wasting all, all of her money. She's like, you don't have the drive for school. Mm-hmm. She's like, I definitely want you go. go I definitely want you to go to school. Because she's like, str- she was straight A's, graduated, fucking everything on the top of her class. High Damn. school, college, everything. Mm-hmm. So she wanted that, you know, for me. But my grandmother really was the one to be like, yo, just really let him do his thing. And I mean, we'll just see what happens. I mean, and my mom's, you know, hated it, but she was like, you know what? You don't have to drive for school. It's going to be a waste. Fine. I still want you to have something to fall back on, but I'll give you a couple years to do what you do. And then if not, you got to spend a block and you got to go to school. Question. Is she part of you now, though? Huh? Is she part of you now? I bet. OD. That's that's actually how this this conversation came up. Mm -hmm. She she was saying like, yo, I mean, I want you to go to school so so badly. And I mean, she still does. But she was like, yo, I'm really happy it all worked out. I mean, so... 
That's a blessing, man. No, yeah. that's what's up, man. So uh, you're from Brooklyn, mm-hmm. uh, obviously. Like you said, Brooklyn doesn't. I, I was born in Brooklyn, but I don't claim. I can't claim Brooklyn, bro. I, I Brooklyn, Brooklyn native, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brooklyn uh, born. Who, who, uh, favorite uh, top, top five for Brooklyn rappers? Jigga, Big, Fab, Big Daddy Kane. Okay. With the OGs. And, uh, you know, I gotta have to say RP to Pop Smoke. The smoke yeah. never yeah. clear, man. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And then R. what P. about and you? And that's what you listen to right now. That's what you rock with right now. Or do you, are you more with the newer Brooklyn drill stuff? Or are you listen? Um, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff? I mean, I definitely listen listen to Favi yeah. a lot. I listen to Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. I mean, all these dudes. I mean, Dusty Locaine. Okay. I yeah. mean, but um, I don't really like like it would have to be like just on and playing. I mean, yeah. Other than that, I mean, I'm on my phone all day. Looking at sneakers, looking at some clothes. <laughs> I mean, you're a very fashionable yeah, guy, and we're so gonna I mean, definitely talk about that as well. Speaking man. of sneakers, we got some questions for you. <laughs> yeah, how about that. Uh, okay, so I hit the super chats real quick, and uh, no, no two two Gs though, man. No, huh? no, no two two Gs. Oh no, oh no, oh no, two two Gs too. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Shout out to him. Also, son, son too. A shine. Oh, ghost, What's my uh, man? Coach the ghost. Coach the ghost. Coach I, the ghost. I, I, I yeah, rock yeah. with him a lot too. I mean, too. Uh, see, here's the thing, too. bro. I like both. I like the woo rappers and I like the troll rappers. Yeah, and the troll. But see, that's the thing. I'm not a str- I'm not in the gang, nigga. Yeah. So I mean, I like both y'all. I like both, 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 I like both, both y'all too. Niggas. I, I mean, like both but too. No smoke here. No smoke here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, I, so I wish I they mean, would just get along. But son, I wish that the whole Brooklyn scene could be crazy. Yeah. They would just like yo. But I mean, the Brooklyn rappers are the best but, in New York. And I mean, Fab, is, they, Fab is actually my favorite on the low key. Like since yeah, way Fab, back. In the yeah, day. Fab is my favorite of all time. Yeah, I mean, yep. Um, I like I like Ron Suno. Yeah. Uh, Ron Suno is from the Bronx. He's from Bronx, bro. Oh, from there you go. Uh, we got you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay. But shout out to Ron Suno. I mean, he's from the It's from New York. A Black Wolf yeah. Inc. Uh, $100. What's good, fellas? I finally dropped a C note on your candy arses. Uh, to concede it, you are by far my favorite comedian from Wild and Out since Cat Williams. Your shot at Doja Cat having Squidward's Krabby Patty legs had one of my coworkers dying. <laughs> Damn, it was over 9,000. Black Wolf. <laughs> Salute. Salute. <laughs> We got Thank you, Black Wolf. Uh, and then another one. Also, congratulations on fully recovered from the FNF hate thon One channel made 25 videos about y'all and still hasn't done anything like that since. <laughs> 500K Christmas and always loyal to the real ninjas. Hey, man. Thanks, yo, brother. If people could get a bag off talking about you, then it means you're a fucking somebody, bro. Haters gonna hate, man. Uh, Jacob Hellman, uh, as a 5 foot 10, 20 year old white man, how do you find the will to live? Okay, bro, my that's kind of deep, bro. We, for, uh, for this yo, show, brother. Nigga, yo. you're 5'10. <laughs> tell a bitch you're 5'10. <laughs> there you go. It's true, though. I said women love torment. Yo, know, uh, I mean, Jacob, shoot me a DM I'm the on exception though. Unplug so. fit. <laughs> you <laughs> made it work. <laughs> Jacob, hit me, hit, send me a DM on Unplug Fit, all right, and tell me uh, your your uh, YouTube username. Yeah. Okay, my homie Con finally got on the podcast. This will be fire. Got Kobe, you, Kobe. KD, the three Fine, kings. Kobe. Look at conceited. Guy. Slow it down. I just dissed you. Mm-hmm. I said, look at conceited. We got a legend in the building. Yeah, Facts, real legend, bro. man. My guy. Uh, y'all got to have conceited record. Uh, slow it down. I just dissed you. Clip for the sound. Yes. Whenever my repeats just said that earlier. Delays, I am gonna. We are gonna do that. Don't worry. Yep. You are ahead of your time, DeAndre. Pay him homage, man. Is that a white dude named DeAndre? Oh, no, 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 he's he black, he's black. He black. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm about to say, niggas, we never seen that shit. That's the. Whoa. Alberto Milan, Casita, we know you be hitting Justina on the low. I don't. The thing is, I actually really, really don't. That's not me just saying that. Everybody thinks I be clap clapping that. That's just my own. Thing, right? I, I don't. I don't. Uh, it's Kim Monte. Uh, yo, Khan, can you uh, say your famous wild, wild out quote? Hey, yo, DJ D Rec, cut the beat. That's <laughs> <laughs> a bright clip. That one too. <laughs> gotta do All that. Right. Uh, Robin Moreno, FNF interviews are the modern Playboy interviews. We got y'all, bro. We do everything. We teach y'all how to womanize and mm-hmm. we bring on big guests. Networking is key, man. So don't come play when they leave early to go to the club. Yeah. So, uh, and then OG, five bucks. And then from this point forward, guys, we're going to go 20 and up only. All right. Yeah. Uh, Peace Bros, Yokon, I love your bar, uh, your bars. As a lyricist myself, I aspire to be on that level. Slow down. I'll just save you your flowers. Much love. Yeah. Oh, you gave me your flowers. Salute. Salute. And then big ups to Fresh and Fit, Yokon. Who do you got between Surf and NJ T work? That's that's New Jersey twerk. Yeah, New Jersey twerk. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> and NJ T work. Um, uh, but wait, are I, they bad rap? I listen to a bit of bad rap, and I've listened to uh, yeah. New Jersey twerk. It just I yeah. Go are, uh, I mean, are they battling? I would not not know that they, they were battling. I think he's saying hypothetically. I got Surf, bro. I got I mean, Surf over. Uh, n- 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 I NJ mean, twerk, twerk got the wave right now, but I mean, I got. I mean, but I got to go with the original wave. Surf, <laughs> I, mean, I got to go with my class. He, he, yeah, he, against, and here's the thing: mean? you guys battled. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, me and Surf. Okay, okay. You know, I'll, I'll talk about that mm. in a second. All right, DJ D Rec cut the beat, bam, and then Flatbush Zombies, realest rappers in this world, Flatbush Brooklyn. Okay, mm, Flatbush and that's from Dra- John Topic. John. So, can you tell us, bro? Take us down memory lane real quick. 
Oh, uh, sorry, Mark. Oh, we got one more by Kobe KD, five bucks. Remember when I used to ask everybody for two dollars for gas to get in my car? We used to hit the club back in the day. My nigga, you still put two dollars in your in your tank right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all just got ten dollars. I don't think y'all understand what, what, what y'all getting right now. Y'all yeah. really have no idea. Legendary, bro. Legendary. Yo, he's probably gonna hit me and be like, "Hey, you got you, you give me that ten dollars back." Send me cash, I'm crazy. So, c- can you walk us through, bro, how you got into into battle and how you got into the the music in, in general? So, battle b- battle rapping was. Um, I'll be the first probably better rapper to actually admit this. A lot of a, a lot of niggas be hating on the boy Murder Mook. Um, I started battling from watching Smack He's DVD, OG. watching Murder Mook. Mm. Um, what was your favorite one? The my favorite one was him against Loaded Lux the first time on the Smack DVDs. That was my favorite one. Okay. Um, I like the J Mills one. That one was that was that's that's, 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 that's my favorite. That's when I first seen him, and I was like, oh shit, it was lit. And, but then the next one was him and Lux, and it was just like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, they're I legends and the, they, they, I mean, they 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 they're OGs in the game. People yeah yeah talk both. Shit. I mean, so um, that's what got me wanted to battle. So I mean, I, I never wanted to be like a rapper, like a mainstream in the industry rapper. I just wanted to battle niggas and kill niggas. Like <laughs> that like that was that, that that was it. Um, so at the at the time, grind time. Do you, that's probably what you was probably trying yes. to think of. Before, yeah, grind time. Yep. So grind time was out at that time. Well, first. After, right, after after the Smack DVD era, after that shit was finished, mm-hmm. something called Lions Den popped up. Yes, okay, I remember. That. So the Lions Den was um lit. I actually did that. I did that, but what happened was Lux and the dude Sub Zero Freeze. He um they had a problem, so the footage wasn't dropping. He was mm-hmm. like, "Yo, I'm keeping it. Nah, you supposed to give me this eye." Uh, so that footage did, yeah, didn't drop. I'm like, "Fuck, damn, that was the one. That's the one that I needed." Who'd you battle on that one? Uh, it was a dude named Dutch. It was a dude named Dutch. Um, but, you know, it was just Mook was there hosting. Lux was there hosting. Goods was there. Rex was there. Head Ice was there. And I went crazy. Damn, Keep this was there. So, oh, I mean, yeah, so, so yeah. All what the year top, was this? This was 2009. Yeah, this was 2009. 2009. Yep. This was the beginning of 2009. And um, so when that shit wasn't dropping, I'm like, damn, what the fuck am I going to do? Then I called my man Fox. My man Fox, he's from Cali. Mm-hmm. I said, yo, you know what? Let's just do our own shit. He was like, nigga, why don't you just do grind time? I'm like, nah, I don't want to do the grind time. The grind time, it was way different from the smack and the line. It wasn't street like that. At, mm-hmm. at, at all. They had white battle rappers. Yeah, all at all. It was just complete, way more jokes. It was a different style of rap. It was only one one minute rounds. And we used to go on in the field and bugging out. Untimed. So um, I was like, nah, 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 nah. Nah, we're not going to do that. So I dropped some shit on YouTube. The grind time niggas hit me. Yo, why don't you pull up? Boom, boom, boom. Pull up. We have a battle going. Yeah, yeah, going down. Why don't you come battle? I'm like, nah, I'm not going to come battle. There's nobody there for me to battle. And I always just carried myself about myself as if I was already on and popping. <laughs> I'm like, nah, nah, me, them <laughs> niggas ain't. Nah, me, them niggas not on my level. They, they, they not this. I'm to this. Nigga, I'm a nobody. Nigga, who the fuck are you? Cause at, 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 at this time, nobody. But it was just, I just carried myself a certain way. And doing that actually helped and i mean it actually made them look at me and treat me as as as, as such is that how you got the name conceded no nah, i got the name conceded. i just really gave it to, to myself because i knew <laughs> I, 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 I just I, I just knew it was gonna be lit and i knew like girls would hear it and be like oh shit conceded and then i knew that niggas would hear and be like the fucking nigga name conceded at battling let me see this nigga <laughs> thank you for the view you know what I mean? <laughs> goes to show that you can't stop greatness because that video that i think put out you still did your thing make an right 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 yeah so um so i go I go and actually judge it. I, I judge it. I was just like, yo, I'll come judge. I'm not going to come battle. So I come judge, and I mean, I'm over there, you know, just with a, just with this whole... Which battle did you judge? It was a dude... Oh, my goodness. I didn't know you. It's, it's still on there. I don't remember. This was 2009. It's a random dude. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like nobody, yeah. that, nobody that really went on to be crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and for some of you guys that don't it was, know... Because it, to be honest, it was, it was actually tryouts. It was actually tryouts. Oh, okay. So, okay. yeah, so I was judging... I don't even... <clears throat> I'm not even sure if the dudes actually were even lit, but D-Rec, not DJ D-Rec, D-Rec from Grind Time, if you are here or you do see this, um, let me know who the fuck did I judge, who did I judge that at battle, um, but in, anyways, instead of, and like I said, instead of instead of battling, I was like, you know what I mean, I was, like, I was just real strategic with it, like I'm not just gonna battle anybody, yeah. you know what I mean, so I went, judged it, you know, basically kind of made, made myself a little stamp, you know what I mean, like, alright, so now, not, so, so now people looking, who is this nigga they got judging? Nigga named Conceited? All right. Mm. Now they go type up my name and they see my just my video of just me spitting bars. Yep. 
Boom. Killed it. I called my, my man. Yo, we need to make a league. We need to make our own shit. There is no street leagues out. So we made one called The Jungle. That's mm. where I battled L. Dot and Tall T. God bless the dead. I go fly to California. I already knew I would have the East Coast fan base already. Yep. At, at the time, I needed West Coast on my side. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I fly to California, battle a dude named L. Dot. I go crazy. Bug, bug out. It goes online. goes haywire. Yeah. Yeah. goes crazy, crazy, crazy. It had like... 200, 300, 400,000 views back then. Back then, yeah, that's a lot of then, views. Yeah, a lot. Holy a lot. crap. Instantly. Yeah. And then somebody else put it up and fucking f- act like it was theirs and flagged it on the main on the main page. So now the one with all the views is, is, is gone. Wow. Which, which had me pissed. But didn't matter. The right pe- people seen it. Mm-hmm. Grind Time hit me up again. Well, mm-hmm. actually hit, 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 hit up Fox. Yo, you guys need to do another jungle event and we're going to come through and host it. Nice. So it was like, oh shit! At this time, everything Grind Time did went 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 to World Star. This mm. is when people was going on World Star on that website, yep. not the Grand Web. Nigga, if you got on World Star, we was like, oh, huge shit, big deal. You're famous. Now, I mean, that's what we 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 thought. Shit, we're like, yo, we can get to World Star. It's lit. It's lit. They come through. I fly back out to Cali. I battle Tall T. Go crazy. Even like like I said, I just carried myself a certain way. When the camera went to, went to me, they're like, yo, on my left we got Tall T. On my right, we got, and I'm like, yo, y'all niggas already know who I, y'all, 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 y'all niggas already, already know who I am. I ain't even saying my name. <laughs> nigga, no, we don't, nigga. <laughs> we do not, nigga. Who the fuck are you? So, um, did that. It went crazy. Okay. The owner of Grind Time, DD Rack, I called him. I said, yo, 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 son, you think you good? Send him shits to um world, world to, to, to world star. He's like, yo, we send everything. Like, they just pick and choose what, what they want. My guy, he hit me back. He said, yo, it's a dub. He said they called back and said they're not taking any jungle battles unless it's crazy. They're only taking real grind time battles. I'm like, fuck. A couple days go by. I'm sleeping. Wake up. A zillion missed calls. The fuck is going on? Niggas is bugging. I go to my text. Yo, yo, oh shit. World star. d What the fuck happened? He said, yo, they hit us back and said we only taking one jungle battle and it's that guy conceded. I said, oh shit. Shit. Nice. Damn. So it went. It just went on there, and then from that point on, um, that's when Ilmac saw it and was like, "Yo, who the fuck is this?" At the time, Ilmac, he's a grind time rapper, two time world rap champion, lit, 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 lit. He comes, he comes like, "Yo, fuck that! I want to battle conceded." <laughs> so I'm like, "Oh, I just went from you know two no namers rather two up and comers that nobody really um knows. Mm-hmm. I mean, to now battling the two time world rap champion, big fish. So now." Everybody at, at the time, the grind time fan base, they don't they don't like the smack style exactly. era that I'm doing. Exactly. So they all talk they're like, yo, Max gonna kill him. Ah, he's trash, trash, fuck him, concede his bums, he's triz, all this. I go in there, smoke his fucking boots. <laughs> kill him, right? You're done. And I remember then, that battle. Yeah. Because I got to say this as a fan. This is the first time a Mac is going to be running, running through, through windows. windows. <laughs> Boom. And I was like, Don DeMarco, damn, DeMarco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I remember that. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> that was one of the first battles I saw. And just for the people out there, what, what are you talking about? So you guys got to understand there was, two, in this time, there was there was Smack DVD and then there was uh, Grind, Grind Time. And K- Did KOTD even be out at this time? It was, but it wasn't as big as it is, as it okay. is now. But they, they were. Like Smack DVD guys is like the gun bars, the, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah, da, da, you know? what i'm saying like the street rappers were on were on smack and then the white guys the dudes that were were lyrical the guys that didn't necessarily use gun bars and all that other stuff mm-hmm. they were on grind time whatever you know what i'm saying because smack wouldn't put those guys on so there was issue this is like i think that's like one of the first times that i saw at least a like a smack type rapper battle like one like, of these no, one it, of these white dudes right it definitely was so that's what that's, that's what, what me I and my man fox it. made the jungle for for just for just to have to give niggas like us who do that style that that's that style of rap a platform. Yeah, platform. You know what I mean, so and then when he did it, and then when, I mean when Ilmac was like, okay, let's do it. Now, I think Arsenal battled that was a great battle. Awkward already back then. Maybe I'm not sure, but even still, <clears throat> Arsenal wasn't really talking the way he does now. You know I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah. so like he wasn't like he he wasn't busting his gun really in his raps. You know, he was still joking and shit. Yeah. Yep. I mean, but then from that battle, that's when the West Coast loved me, and they loved me because remember I went out there to battle mm-hmm. the East Coast, of course, already. Sure love. I mean, that's that's already the, the the home, so it's Gucci. 
Then after that though, that's when they were like, oh shit, we got one. This nigga's crazy. And then that's when I battled Arsenal. Mm. And then that was the battle that catapulted me and him. Like we was the first million view battle back then of, for like of that style of that time. Wow. And we went stupid crazy. That's like the battle to show. But if you want to get somebody into battle rap, mm. like that is the battle to show them. All right, yo, it's your first time ever watching the battle. Watch this. Bro, I'll Damn. tell you this. I, I, I remember vividly, man, watching. I saw, I saw the Ilmac battle. I definitely saw that one because I remember that that line with the running through windows, and then uh, the the Arsenal battle. I remember that one too because you were the one that said he was a school bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> school bus driver. <laughs> what are you doing like that? No, you, doing like, that, you wake up at six a.m. to get on the to cheese wagon. The cheese wagon. <laughs> you drip pounds and have the gun shooting. You tell kids sit down while a bus moves. <laughs> That was the shit, bro. Man. I remember Yo. that vividly, bro. We were all dying, bro. Me and my friends, and, and like that—that that is actually one of the battles I, I show them, and uh, yeah, and I, I agree with you because this is before you guys got to remember. This is before Arsenal was like on the super disrespectful shit. He was still making jokes and all mm-hmm. other stuff, but now it's like he'd he be saying, <laughs> "Arsenal be wilding out now." I, I still rock with him. I still I still watch <laughs> yeah, I the battles now, <laughs> but uh, Legendary. he's one of my favorites as well. Mm-hmm. But no, man, that was that was that was that was a great one, bro. Because that one that was that one's like. I think you won personally. I yeah, think, yeah. I, I think, so I, do I. I th- yeah. <laughs> but that's like people can say, oh, that's debatable. Oh, whatever. oh, oh, oh. I'm so glad you said that. Oh, yeah, shit. Mm-hmm. So that was the thing that's, that that battle literally started. The What what we call is two different battles, meaning there's live and on camera. Mm. Oh. Live, nigga, I thought I got fucking killed. Now, the first, the first round, I, I sent him, I sent him to heaven. <laughs> go, go. First round. But second and back. third, it just felt like, like in the building, you know what I mean? It was just like, oh shit, he cooked me, he killed me. So I mean, you know what I mean? It was just like, you know, sort of like when you lose a fight and then the ride home is mad quiet. Mm. You know what I mean, niggas in the car like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? it's over. You know what I mean? <laughs> but then you, but then you know, there's still certain. I'm like, damn, son, I lost. And, they, and then you know, there's still like a, a couple niggas, nigga, you won, nigga, you bugging because there's certain niggas that just like certain shit, right? And like that, yo, if you like punch lines, no matter what you do, you're not gonna beat, beat, you're not gonna beat me to somebody who likes lines. Mm. I mean, he's not, he doesn't give a fuck about all that shit that that you're doing. He cares about the bars. So right then and there, I even got on camera. I was just like, nah, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. I, yeah, he got it. He got it. He got it. I, I actually said that on camera. Nah, man. <laughs> Before the shit dropped, Hitman called me. My nigga, what the fuck you doing? You never say that shit. You never say that shit until it dropped. Until it dropped. I'm like, nigga, what do you mean, nigga? It's it's a. He said, no, nigga. Mm. Trust me, man. Wait until it dropped. They just let niggas say it for them for themselves. I'm like, man, whatever. Well, whatever. So I'm thinking, you know what I mean? The word around town is, yo, damn, Kong. You lost. You lost. That's what a lot of people feel because live energy is different. Yeah, it is. But if I battle you and I do a backflip, niggas going to go crazy. Yeah, no matter what. Yo, because yo, he didn't went buck. He did a flip. Oh, word. A nigga watching that shit at, at, at home, give a shit about that flip. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's listening because yep. he doesn't, that energy is not translating right. through, the, yes. through the screen. Is, 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 Thank is, you. It's um, only live. Yo, when that battle dropped, when I say Ars was pissed. He's talking on around telling everybody he smoked me. Now everybody's saying he got killed. So now mm. Averb calls me here like, hey yo, hey yo, you old little itty bitty small fucker. You see that, right? <laughs> that shit look way different on camera, huh? And, I, and then I went to the comments and watched I said, oh, I watched this thing. <laughs> I said, why the fuck did tennis. I say that? I said, oh, I'm an idiot, man. You know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, it's a learning lesson, and and I think mm-hmm. people really need to know that because when you're when you're there live, like people bring their entourages, the crowds could be swayed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, and th- uh, Ars was there with a lot of people, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. He was mm-hmm. there with like the whole New Jersey crew, and I, uh, your boy was a, there. Eat him, yo! Yeah, could you tell them about Eat him? What's what's he doing now, man? I know people, all the all the conceited supporters. Eat him, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Where's he at? <laughs> uh, to be honest, I actually don't know where he's at right right now. I mean, and him are still are still cool, but I haven't spoke to him in um in, yeah in, in a minute. But I, I, I actually brought him back one time when I battled uh, Hitman. Bro, best hype man ever, bro. Yeah, Eat yeah, him yeah. every time you say a point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so for, for some of you guys that don't know, so like when you when you watch it live. Versus uh, watching it back, obviously you know they got to edit it to you know all the craziness because when people say bars, it's very tough to quiet down the crowd. You know mm-hmm. people are swayed, people bring their entourages, whatever. So when I watched it, mm-hmm. right, 
I was like, yeah, Khan kind of killed this dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ours was, uh, did, did, you know, obviously spit some some fire as well. But I was like, nah, you killed him. Right. But that's crazy to me, like, talking to you and you're saying, like, no, I thought I lost when I was there. It's but that goes to show the yeah. atmosphere, so, how important it is. What yes. matters more, the crowd opinion or the actual results opinion in your, in your eyes? Well, when you say results, do you mean, because it's never really, like, official. Mm-hmm. They just, you just, I battle, you, yeah, you battle, it just goes online. Mm-hmm. But... What's more important is definitely on on camera. Camera, on camera yeah. because live is one night, one time, and it's done. Camera is forever, mm. forever. That shit is there. Anytime you want to go back and watch it, you can pause, <laughs> rewind, play, fast, f- fast forward, whatever. That shit is there. You can't say yo, nah. You had to be there, son. You had to be there. You understand? He was he was all on a nigga like this. Ah 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 ah. It don't matter. My nigga, I don't see none of that. I, I heard him say some bullshit. I heard this nigga say some fire shit. I can rewind it for you to show you how whack his shit was and how fire his yep. shit was. So that's why camera is definitely more important. My whole career from that point, point, point on, my whole battle career, rather, everything I did was for the camera. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit you're doing. Your, your performance, your aggression, your, none of that. I'm going to sit here, say these bars, get this shit off, let... <laughs> whoever feel however they feel because I know when that shit goes online it's better and they hear that it's king it's over damn yeah, yeah nah, and I agree I agree 100% and I'm like yeah like it's it's a, it's the video bro because the lyrics are always what matter I mean yeah you know uh, delivery and um, you know style and like little antics and shit yeah it makes it more entertaining whatever but like For at the sure. end of the day and, bro and, and, and it's I, always gonna be yeah and I'm not gonna say it doesn't play a part I mean it definitely plays a part for, for, for sure but I mean nothing is gonna beat bars now a nigga that has all of that dangerous yeah Mm -hmm. now you've battled everybody con like literally anyone who's a somebody in 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 the battle rap game you've you've battled them who who, who's your who's your top five Ooh, top five top five yeah battles that you that you uh enjoyed or guys that you that you respect (laughs) he's like wait what (laughs) five is a lot my nigga top three top two Top two. See, that's see, what he got to say. Right, really no, no. So, 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 look, so, here's, so, so here's the thing. I mean, there's like, I battle Charlie Clips, right? Charlie mm-hmm. Clips, legend, great. Yep. That's my brother. Yeah. I mean, that's my man. We don't, our battle wasn't real. So, can I count him? I can't mm, say, I, I mean, what you're saying. So, the only one, the only two, two niggas that I battled that I would say that I wasn't, I would have to say Arsenal and Surf. I mean, mm, Arsenal so, okay. yeah. shit. So, shout out to Jersey. Both two of them Jersey niggas. Bricks, um, those were two niggas that I wasn't cool with, like that. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm, we weren't enemies, and nothing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. but I mean, we They're weren't friends. Yeah. We weren't cool. We weren't nothing. Niggas like, yeah. yo, I'm gonna wash this nigga, and, and that's it. <laughs> but um, but they they both definitely have my have, have, have my respect, and that was I would say definitely, I mean, two two of my favorite battles. Okay, okay. and I'll say, I'll say this too because. Uh, <laughs> The, the Sue Surf thing Because Sue Surf has a very similar Because you say Hey slow it down I just dissed you And then bang You you say it again And then r- change the verbiage up a little bit It's the same exact thing mm-hmm. He says Fuck I gotta put in subtitles or something And you guys actually battled And you, told, you were telling him Hey yeah, that's my like, shit That's my shit <laughs> <laughs> When I came out with slow it down I just dissed you The whole fucking battle world Everybody did it Or did a, a fucking a version of it Niggas I'm like yo These niggas is crazy Pioneer Like I like I'm talking about everybody Everybody Like I was like Tch. But I mean I, I get it You know it was something You know at, 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 at first You know what I mean I had my conceited hat on And I'm like yo yeah, yo, These niggas is on my body man These niggas on my dick Fuck out of here Stop biting you Stealing you doing this But then I realized I'm like This shit was so dope and it was a way to elevate the game, and that's what that, that's, that's, and that's what it did. So I mean, then I started to look look at it uh, as like, okay, you know what? I brought something there that was so fire that everybody has to use it and put it in their shit now. Pay homage. Yeah. Speaking of, and I just got to say this: I know people are going to want to know what is your favorite slow it down. I just diss you for, uh, verse. Damn, oh, but um, <laughs> probably the one against B Magic. Okay. So Which one was that one? B Magic, uh, <clears throat> the B stands for Black is Black Magic. So what I said to him, I said I'll leave it. I said I'll even go to Black Church where the pastor ratchet, the deacon be singing, let us pray, <laughs> bow your heads and be amen. I said slow it down. I just diss you. I said. I said, I said the pastor ratchet the D can be singing. Let us spray. It'll bow your heads when we aiming. 
Captain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Captain Monko. <laughs> okay. So, I like the Captain Morgan one. Yeah. Oh shit! That's my <laughs> favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the Captain Morgan. Yo. The you, craziest you know that part one is, to them? That's the, my favorite one. The craziest part is I had a duck, and it was after I said it. I'm like, fuck, I had one. So what, what I said was, you guys want to take shots, then Captain Morgan's come out. Slow it down. I just dissed you. I said, you guys want to take shots, get Captain Morgan's come out. Slow it down once more. You guys want to take shots, get Captain Morgan's come out. The crazy part no, is no, I had, one, I I had one more and I didn't say it. I said I was Ooh. I was supposed to say slow it down once more. You guys want to take shots? Get cap ten more guns come out. Oh, and I didn't. Exclusive, right exclusive there. right there, guys. <laughs> Yeah. That's hard. Yo. <laughs> God. God Legendary, man. Yo. So, oh, man. Quick commercial break for Super Shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick and little. then we'll answer about Wild and Out. <laughs> you got to Wild and Out. That's hard, though. Yo, I hope y'all enjoying this goddamn interview. Like the fucking video, Legendary, man. Legendary, man. Y'all got. Uh, so, you had that one on tap, but you didn't get a chance to say and it. I didn't say it. Damn. Damn. Who'd you. Oh, I'm trying to remember who. That was some clips. That was. Oh, that was in the clips. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, the yeah, clips. Yeah, it was one. those clips. Mm. I thought you said that was your boy, bro. Yeah, he is, but I still had to hit him with something, though. <laughs> I had to smoke him. <laughs> I, st- I still had yeah. to hit him with something, though. All right, uh, let's see here what we got. We got, uh, hello, FNF. I just got off the medication, Henny. I was on after that dinghy crew last night. Uh, great to see a legend in the house and to legends helping men out in their lives. Uh, they And they are fresh and fit. Okay, that's what's up. Um, and then we got, uh, we are still, we still need that Conceited versus Hollow. Also, SoCon versus the Suns was legendary. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, and then we got so 20 bucks Nobunaga Khan out of everyone You have faced In battle rap Who was the opponent That had the toughest rounds You faced mm. um, It would It would actually be You know it's so crazy This nigga gets no Credit Probably because he You know he's a white Little nerdy dude From, from um, London Or the UK Or whatever mm. To me he was The one It's a dude named Kruger I mean Oh and, yeah Kruger Yeah yeah, yeah. And he was, I mean, but you know, yo, if you see him, he, he like looks like Mr. Bean, got this Benjamin Button syndrome shit going, going on. So people probably, I mean, but he had some crazy, crazy, crazy bars. So he he's actually the one I liked the most bar bar wise that I ever battled. Oh, hard. So shout out to him. Yeah, shout, shout out to Cougar. Who would have thought? Cougar. Mm. Uh, 10 bucks. Uh, it's come on. Uh, no, Chris, we're doing 20. Yep. Uh, right. Okay, question to Conceda. What are your top three while now uh, games and guests? Uh, question to Myron Fresh. Is it possible we can see currency on the show and doing a- another anime topic show? I have some arguments about Naruto and DBZ. Uh, <laughs> top three. Currency We're going to talk about while now right now. Yeah, currency be so fire. We got you. Mm-hmm. We'll check it out. We got you. Um, okay, so okay, so we're going to uh, keep going here. So get, yeah. how'd you get linked in with while well, now? Yeah, Nick Cannon and everybody there. So, oh, matter of fact, back to the surf battle. Okay. So the day I battle, the day I battle Surf, it's supposed to be in the venue, a dope lit lit venue. The shit gets shut down. Okay. Shut down. Dudes about to start fighting. Boom. We gotta go somewhere else. Your crew and the Surf's crew? No, okay. no, 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 oh, no, no, other, no. Just no. Others, people, yeah, just yeah, like people yeah. in the audience. Other battlers. Other battlers. Okay. Um, um, who was I? I forgot who who was. I think it was Calico and somebody. I mean, oh, not um, surprised. <laughs> but um. So whatever happened, but I mean, I don't think I don't think anybody fought though. Yeah. But I remember DNA come backstage like, yo, they, they had that issue in Detroit. I remember when when mm-hmm. Arsenal was there in Detroit. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think you mentioned in the battle yeah, uh, yeah, that how, how, how uh, you said something about Arsenal being mm-hmm. shook when he when he went to, to it Detroit. Was, well, no, I said I think I said something about Surf and because it was about shotgun shook and I'm coming to Detroit, so I, something about shotgun Detroit. I don't remember that that battle was so fucking long ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, ten years ago. Uh, so um, DNA came to me backstage. Yo, son, it's a dub. I'm like, what? He said, yo, niggas is, we not battling, I mean? So I'm like, the fuck you mean we not battling? What, what, the, what the fuck happened? He's like, yeah, man, niggas is fighting. The venue don't want it to pop off from there, there no more. So I'm like, nigga, what's up with the rest of the bread? He's like, these niggas ain't got it. Mm. I'm out. I leave. I go to sleep. I'm sleeping. I'm at the crib sleeping. I get, I get a call. Hey, conceded. This is Beasley. This is Beasley from um, U- <laughs> URL. We got a location downtown Manhattan Avenue A at the Pyramid. We can battle. I'm like, yo, I didn't. My mind is completely empty now. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not war mode. I'm yeah. just waking yeah. up. I'm like, do you have the bread? <laughs> and then he's just like, we got. I said, you got all of it. He said, yes, we have all of it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll be there. Went, got two Red Bulls. Boom, boom, going. 
Boom. Go battle surf. Chilling. Do my thing. Kill him, of course. <laughs> Softly. That, literally that day or the day prior, I got an email. Yo, this is Viacom, Nick Cannon, Wildin' Out, MTV. We're bringing Wildin' Out back, and we want you on the show. Nick Cannon's a big fan. Boom, Damn. boom, So my manager's like, he's so my manager, you know, he just like, yeah, so we going to do this. And I'm like, nigga, you not hype? Like, what the fuck? He's like, I mean, he like, nigga, Nick been following you on Twitter forever. I was like, word? <laughs> so I go check, and I see, and this is nigga him with his shirt off like this and shit. <laughs> so, so I'm like, yo, 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 yo. I, was, I was like, yo, I don't, I don't know if I can follow, follow this nigga back with his, with his, with his, with his shirt off. Um, so the battle was on Sunday. The Wild and Out audition was on Monday. Oh. Mm. So I do the battle. Boom. Happy about it. New York City. Yeah. Okay. Wake up. Manhattan. Wake, wake up. Go. Then I go to the audition. Edition. Mm-hmm. I so walk you fly in. to California. No, no, no. Oh, this is New York City? Yeah, yeah, New York. Um, so I wake up, go to the audition. I walk in. <clears throat> Nick Cannon. He says, Oh, what's up, nigga? I said, <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> Nick Cannon? Nickelodeon Nick Cannon? What's up, nigga? I don't know you talking. He's all like this. What's poppin', nigga? <laughs> Shit, what up? Because, you know, I'm thinking, you know, the, 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 the Nick I, I see, I'm thinking, I'm like, polite, yeah, nice, I mean, you know, TV. you know, as everybody, you as, nice as, you. <laughs> as, man, as everybody thought was so corny, I mean, he's, yo, what's up, nigga? Then he blew my shit, pause. This nigga was like, he was like, yo, I heard you killed it in the battle. I heard it was at the first spot. Then it got transferred to another spot. And then I heard uh, DNA battle. I'm like, hold on, hold on. You really outside? He said, nigga, I'm in tune with this shit. I'm like, oh, wow. Like, this is shit you had to really Follow. be in the loop yep. to, to know. know that be- I didn't even know until you mentioned yeah, like this really now. really so I'm like damn so I go in I do I do the audition um the the first one is just it was all simple shit I just used my battle rap mind and stuff he was like yo Kevin Hart just killed you in the wild style black on him so I just started spitting bars doing short jokes that was used on me back in the day just <laughs> using rap in rap form against Kevin Hart um, and then they were like, yo, use, use these words in the, in the sentence and make it funny and, you know, shit like that. So I was like, all right. I mean, at that point, anything with words is, it was just yeah. easy. Yeah. So I did, I did that. They were like, yo, it was crazy. You, you did well. Boom. We're going to call you again for the second audition. Whoever gets past the first one, you get a second one. And it's going to be like a simulation of the show. I go pull up. I pull up there. Then I just see mad like some like some niggas I recognize comedians mm. you know what I mean I'm the only rapper nigga there like battler type like I have no comedy back background damn I mean okay I'm like get the fuck out of here I'm here like we, oh we shit so we so we start playing playing the games I'm really not doing much cause I'm like nigga I'm not gonna go out for that I can't my shit I'm, I'm, I'm about to stink it up <laughs> I'm not doing it and then the shit I did do Still stunk it up, but Nick the whole time was <laughs> all other producers like. <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say? Like, this shit whack. <laughs> like, the fuck? So I'm sitting there, I'm like, it's a dub. I mean, so at the end of it, I'm like, all right, yo, Nick, good looks, nice, nice, nice meeting you. Thank you. He's like, yo, yo, Nick, you killed that shit. And I'm like, yeah, 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 whatever. Shut that Hollywood talk up because it was it was horrible. Mm. It was bad. Fucked it up. I mean, I don't even know if we did the wild Are you style. Gun bars in th- there. Or no, no, like I don't that? even think we even did the wild style. I don't think the rap part was even there. Oh, this is just straight. Yeah, like, we just straight. Like, it was, the it was just like those? mad. Yeah, yeah, just mad games and shit. So oh. I'm like, so and I mean, like I said, like I'm, I'm not an improv comedian. Yeah. I mean, I could put some bars together, but so after that, nigga, soon as soon as I leave, yo, smack, what's up? Who's next, nigga? What's up? <laughs> because I'm thinking it's a dub. I'm not getting this shit. Right. Yo, who's next? Whoever, whoever. I mean. So and this is like I said, this is for still fresh off, f- fresh off the surf battle, yeah. Which is still cooking, yeah. Two weeks later, I get a call. I wake up, and I get a missed a missed call, and I check my voice my, my voicemail. They're like, "Yo, uh, this is uh, wilding out. We're calling to say congratulations. You uh, made it. Uh, give us a call back." And I called back. Whoa! You did it, and then boom, we filmed. Kevin Hart was the first and last episode of the first season. Those were the two that I killed. And that's when DJ d Cut the Beat was born mm-hmm. and cemented in Legendary, baby. Yeah, there you man. Go. <laughs> that's Yo, funny, man. Ball, Nick ball, was a ball, fan ball. even before. That's mm-hmm. fire, bro. And, and that's a, that's something, too. Um, I wanted him to finish his story before I, before I said this was 
a lot of people don't know like there's a lot of people that are like you know high up in the industry that are like tapped in with battle rap hell I mean Drake did yeah, he yeah. sponsor a whole URL yeah, event yeah, he, did. he sponsored a KOTD event yeah. that's when I battled dumb, that's a Canadian dumb, dumbfounded yeah that's when I battled dumbfounded so he handpicked the niggas for, for, for that one <clears throat> then he did the URL yep I mean so, so Drake so yeah. Drake is in it heavy yeah. like um, I, I remember there was one URL battle I forget who it was uh, I forget who, the, who, who was battling but uh, Chris Brown was there like yo like Celebs be at these yeah, 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 all the yeah, time, these yeah. URL Nigga, battles. The last one was at Chris Brown's house. Oh, that's oh, what wow. it was. That's yeah, what it, it was. was at Chris Brown's house. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, like people in the industry are tapped in. Because here's the thing about, about battle rap, bro. A lot of rappers know they can't do it, bro. <laughs> they just know they can't do it, man. Like, it's a whole other thing. It's like, a skill. And, and okay, I'm, this is the opinion of, of Myron Gaines, no one else on the pod. I'm going to just say it. <laughs> There's a lot of rappers that can't hack it. They think they can, and then they get smacked up. Joe Budden, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I'm a legend, blah, blah, blah. You know, who was he about battle? Hollow, Hollow. right? Hollow he, he battled Hollow thinking, I'm going to smoke this nigga. What happened? Hollow destroyed him. Why? Because battle rappers are cut from a different cloth, bro. Mm -hmm. Look at Cassidy. I love Cassidy. I was a fan of Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, I'm, and I still am. I still listen to six minutes to this fucking day, guys. Damn. But you know what? <laughs> Arsenal <laughs> <laughs> killed him. <laughs> like Arsenal killed him, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? And 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 I'll never get to because I felt that bar Arsenal says something along the lines of nigga, I used to look up to you. I remember I fought a nigga for saying your hood was better than you. And I was like, oh <laughs> shit. I felt that. I felt that. And I was because I used to listen to D Block back in the day. So and I remember dudes used to get into fights like, oh, uh Lloyd Banks better than Cass. What? No! Cass better than Lloyd Banks. And the dudes were like legit fight over this shit. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so, I, I know. Nah, like, dudes were, like dudes were, especially in that punchline era, people would literally like get into yeah, fights that over this shit, Yeah, that punchline bro. era was crazy. But, you know, you had, you had Fab, Cash, and Banks. Like, those three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, you... You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, it was... You better like, not... Whatever side, side, side you want, niggas is ready to argue. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about, nigga? What? This nigga... Yo, this nigga said... Ah, 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 yeah. What? He ain't never say no shit like that. Yep. It's yep. crazy. That's why that D block, that D block and diplomat versus was so big because people brought it back. Like that brought back memories of like 15 years where people would be like, "Oh no, Jada got Cam," or "No, fuck out of here." You talk about mm -hmm. Jada bum Cam this, and I rock with both. Mm -hmm. But when R said that, I felt that shit. And I was like, "Damn!" It's like uh, so he's like literally bad. But the point I'm trying to make here is this, guys. These industry rappers can't compare to battle rappers, bro. It's a whole other club. They get in there with a battle rapper, it's it's career suicide. They're gonna lose. I don't think I could think of one. Can you name one industry guy that lasted against a, a, a like a real battle rapper? Joe Budden loss. Cassidy loss. Yeah, I mean, they, it's it's just it's way different. Different now. It's it's not what they do. I mean, who's the dude that before LO? I forget the cannabis. cannabis. Took an L. Mm -hmm. He got killed. Like they, you you can't compete with battle rappers, bro. You just can't. Yeah, this it's just it's just a whole different lane. I mean, and I'm pretty sure they can probably say, "Well, nigga, you can't come over here and sell millions of records." That's fair. That's fair. Right. But that's why that's why I think like industry guys have such a respect for it because it's tough, bro. No, it's they tough. do. They they do. They any, have a crazy any respect rap, for it. Any, any rapper made there like, "Yo, what y'all niggas do is crazy." Yo, salute. And you know it's I mean? live too, not in the studio. Yep. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's live. <laughs> Look, no, so you can't put an auto tune on that shit. <laughs> you can't. You can't do nothing. There is no fuck up. There, there yeah. is no ayo, hey, run it back. There's none of that. Rappers can go tour the same records over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And shit, congrats to them. Like, I wish we could do that. A battle, nigga, you get to say, you get to say it one time in one round and can never say that shit again. again. Every time you see me, I have to have three new rounds of a million shits I've never said and a million shits that nobody else has said. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's a whole other game, bro. Sheesh. That's why it's a whole Crazy. other game. So, like, that's why, I like, industry guys, they be watching. That's why Nick Cannon was such a fan, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, like, and that's why I'm such a fan. Like, fuck, because that shit is tough, bro. It is tough to be there. Thousands of people watch it, talking shit. Their entourage is there. You're there with your entourage. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, how what's, what's it like preparing for a battle? Uh, I mean, it's easy to me. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. you know, you just watch the person's previous battles. You know, it's, you know what I mean? To get what what at any points that you may not know, I mean you're gonna have to you know be in the field to like like Start like know yeah to like know like oh, okay this nigga's a bus driver and I mean this nigga works here or worked Yo, how here. How you find that out, bro? Hmm. He um, I was dead. He uh, someone told you? Yeah. So what? So <laughs> no, but here's how. But here's how it happened. He one night <laughs> was in the studio with like math. I think math Cortez. <laughs> Maybe Goods, Lux, Hollow, whoever. And I mean, you know, nigga, nigga, studio just wildin'. Then whatever, like 
5 a.m. hit or whatever. He's like, yo, son, I got to be out. Like, nah, nah, yo, yo, niggas is chilling, niggas is chilling, what's up? And like, nah, man, I got to go drive, I got to go drive these buses. <laughs> niggas is like, wait, what? <laughs> this nigga's dead ass here, like, oh, what? <laughs> oh, 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 like the city bus. Oh, damn, yeah, yeah, niggas get chicken. Nah, 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 man, these fucking kids, man. School bus. <laughs> 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 and back then, nigga, back then, this is like, everything in battle rap in your real life is... It's supposed to be sacred. Yeah. Your name, everything. You don't want nobody can know nothing because it's ammo. Right. Once they know your name, that's just more punchlines. <laughs> more punchlines. <laughs> once they know your job, once they know anything about you, just ammo, ammo, ammo. And the battle rapper could do ten fucking lit crazy bars about anything. Damn. You know what I mean? So when they said when he said that, they're like, oh shit. So Cortez ended up telling DNA. And then so I'm like, yeah, I'm about to battle ours. Uh and then one time me and this nigga was on, was, was on the train mm-hmm. and chilling and then he was like you know what man I got something for you man I was saving it just in case I just in case just in case I ever battle him man I got something for you your man drives a bus and I said the same thing like a city bus no <laughs> kids bus a school bus I said oh this nigga's dead <laughs> <laughs> that's all ammo you needed yeah. Yeah. that's it and, and speaking of Cortez, bro, you said a crazy line with him too. Said about uh, like even Full Locker don't fuck with Cortez. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, oh man, man. Uh, All right, super chats real quick. Yeah, super chats real quick, man. This this is this is this is fucking lit. I hope you guys are enjoying. Yo, he's having a man. fun ass time. He's, yeah, a, he's yeah, a big supporter. Yeah, man. I fuck with the content. Like uh, yeah, the con- I would say you, Arsenal. Murder Mook, I agree with you. Fuck everybody that talks shit about Murder Mook. He's mm-hmm. he's he's an OG in the game. Like you know, what I'm saying a lot of these dudes will not be out here without him. I like T Rex. Who else? I like uh, Hitman Holla. Mm-hmm. I like him. You know, I'm glad that you know Shout everything out turned out okay with him and, and his girl. Man, those yeah. fucking guys that yeah, broke praise up. Praise that money, Hitman. He's good now, though. He's good. So yeah. he's good. Shout God. out he's to good. him. His shorty's good. I'm glad that so he's good. And and his girl. There you go. You know, she recovered from something crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm that's wild, bro. Yeah, I, I, man. For girl to go through that, bro. Man, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, those, I would say, yeah, those, I'm trying to think anybody else, bro. Yeah, you are, uh, I like Hollow to Don because he killed Joe Bunn and I thought that shit was hilarious because that was the first, like, industry dude to get killed really, like, bad, like, bad, bad. Like, I mean, cannabis shit was wild, too. Cannabis pulled out a, a notepad. <laughs> yeah, everybody was that like, was oh, bugged out. Fuck. Like, damn. Yeah, that was that was a big L, bro. Like, that was uh <laughs> yeah. Um okay, we got so DL Saint here. DL Saint uh, 100 eyes, bro. Thank you so much. And yo guys, do me a quick favor, bro. Like the video, like man. Like the video, man. So this gets pushed in the algorithm cuz this is a fire interview. We got almost 4K watching. And so. y'all y'all heard the the uh, the unknown for, what exclusive the, the fourth part of the more the Captain Morgan line. Yeah. You know oh, what yeah, I'm yeah. More Captain, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? That was my definitely my favorite one. Okay, respect, brother. Saint. Which is more ruthless, the streets, the music business, or Hollywood? Great show. Keep leading from the front, fam. <clears throat> which which more ruthless? You say, Con? Well, streets. I mean, I would say the streets, but I'm not you're not in the streets like that to know. But I mean, mm-hmm. as far as nigga, the streets, you could lose your life. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so speak, speaking of that, R.P. to Young Dolph. Yeah, yeah R.P. I mean, to Dolph, man. Dolph. Dolph. Yeah. yeah. We did. We get. Uh, I think yesterday we gave him a tr- tribute, right, on the show. So yeah, R. P. Oh, to him, man. Rest in peace to him, man. Uh, hope so, you guys can get Dave East on as well. Loved him on Well and Out. Check out Dave and East and Styles and uh, and Styles P. Oh yeah, I'm a fan of Styles as well, bro. The the whole the whole D Block Diplomat uh, movement, man. I rock with all that. Uh, out from a different cloth and Dave East and Vado. Uh, they hated super dope tracks. Yeah, Vado's uh, fire too. But conceded, I gotta know, bro. Top five sneakers in your head in the game. Yes. Top five sneakers. <sighs> it's gonna be tough. This is the worst. This is I actually hate this question more than anything. <laughs> sneaker talk. Let's get it. Trey, we in here, bro. Yeah, Trey, we got you. We gonna ask the sneaker <laughs> questions for you, anything baby. There is you can't ask a sneaker nigga. That's like asking somebody to pick their favorite child. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you had top to. five J's, top five J's. If you had to. We'll we'll say top five J's. <laughs> okay, top five Jordans. Yeah. <laughs> Threes, fours, mm-hmm. Sixes, elevens, and I'm gonna have to just revert to. I'll go to ones. I'll pick no ones. fives. I'll pick ones. I love fives. You, here's the thing: I, I love fives. Od love fives. Mm-hmm. You know the only thing that keeps me not putting the fives in my top five? Creasing? Is, no, no, no. It's actually it's the bird's eye view. It's when I it's when I look down from here. I don't like the way they look. I don't hate the way the the toe box looks. Mm-hmm. But. When you look at that shit in the mirror from the side, yeah, it's those lit. fives is crazy. But what about the uh, colorways? Colorways. Trey, Trey screaming in the back. Yeah, colorways. Trey, Trey colorways. Trey, get, put your mic on, bro. 
Okay, but what? I don't, um, yeah, the, the top, your top five uh, sneaker uh, Jordans oh goodness, colorways. Goodness. Y'all killing me right now. White cement threes. Okay. Bread fours. Okay. Classics. I guess statement. I was, here. A, I was a Jordan. I was a Jordan collector back in the day too, but I sold them all. Well, no, I still yeah. have them actually. At your house? I still have them. Yeah, I got like the fifty pairs. Sell them Red three, ones. You said what? The the what Bread ones? ones. Red ones. Okay. You know what? We we we, we can do the breads and royals as one fucking pair because you can't you can't pick out of those two. Okay. okay. You can't pick. So we'll do that. Um, He's being careful now. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, it's like I said, it's like I'm gonna feel guilty. <laughs> not mentioning a whole bunch, of, well, even with the fives, I feel guilty not even mentioning. Oh shit! Um, it's like if you aqua like the, eights, oh, aqua yeah, eights, okay, I had them joints just, back in like yeah, just because of the way it made me feel when I first got them. Yep. Um, you got the original ones back in like oh seven. Those are not the original. original not not three, but yeah, that was ninety three. But like yeah. the for me, originals. Uh, okay, because I didn't have the ninety three. But yeah, but yeah, I, I I had those two though. The oh seven, okay. yeah. Uh, 07, 14, the 07, the 2014, and, and the 93s. Um, now with the 11s, because I said the bread one, the bread and warrior ones, mm-hmm. white cement threes, bread fours, aqu- aqua eights, and with the 11s, fuck. <laughs> this is gonna I be hate tough. you niggas, man. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> I'm gonna just go with the space jam. Nah, I knew okay. you were gonna say okay. I knew he was gonna say the space jam. That's fair. Jam, that's fair. But I gotta know. See, bro. it's like, but then mm. I mean, like, how could you say that when you got the Concord? Yeah. Then you got the breads. You got yeah, the Columbus. Like, like, I, like, what the fuck? I think man. the breads are the best, bro. You know They're mean? classic, black, red, and white, man. Yeah, hey, I mean, you can't lose. They're easy, you can't, you can't lose I mean, with those. Whichever one you lose. say, you can't. But what I mean, got you into sneakers in the first place, though? Because obviously, you know, rapping, battle rapping. But what got you into the sneakers per se? Well, in New York, it's always like you know when you hit that thing. You know, you make feet contact before you make eye eye contact. I mean, you look down, see people kicks first, and then go, okay, what's up? <laughs> um, but if I had to pick someone, it would be actually be my older sister because mm. she was crazy, like crazy, crazy. Like, so, I mean, I was in the kicks super duper early, like as far as, as, far as I can remember. I mean, because she made sure my mother had me. For, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta get them the, the new mics, got to get them the new Jordans, got to get them the new pennies, you got to get them this. And then once I was old enough to... Oh, phone positive. Yeah, I mean, yeah, to like say, say shit for, for myself, mm-hmm. it was it. I was, was already, I was already addicted. I already had a little mini collection, not, not, not even knowing. I mean, so then, I mean, I was doing what I, I was, like I would go ask my mom for some money for kicks. Boom. So then she'll get them. I would ask, ask her again, knowing she's going to say no. So I go talk. So I go, go to my father. Yo, pops, can you buy buy me these kicks? Uh, I I didn't ask you in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so he, do, he doesn't know my mom just bought me some kicks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that, 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 because they were divorced. So it's like boom. right, exactly. So now time time goes by. Mom, can you buy can, 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 can buy me some kicks? I haven't. Yo, the last pair you bought me was mad long, mad mad long ago. And now she she don't know my pops just got me some shit. I mean. I, I used to remember even saving. I remember one time we had a field trip in school. She like gave me like a hundred dollars. Like it was you know to eat on on the field trip, whatever. You didn't spend it, huh? Nigga, not a dime. <laughs> <laughs> Sneakers. Nigga, I went to hey yo, hey, hey yo, son, you got a you got some extra chicken? You could cop me these chips real quick. Well, ah, ah, there was a shorty that worked there. Try to yo, shorty, hey yo, shorty, why don't you just boom, 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 boom? <laughs> Should give me some. Nigga, as soon as I got back, went straight to the mall with that hundred. Cop some fresh bear kicks. Damn, mm. that was it. Yeah, man. Uh, so, how many sneakers do you own? Oh, I don't know. I have. A... You got a whole sneaker page on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, man. I know. I I know. Have a... Shit's crazy. How many do you think you have? Mm. Over nine thousand. How much? <laughs> over nine thousand. Over nine thousand. <laughs> no, 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 no. Over nine thousand. Probably, nine. probably like a thousand. I mean, right, probably damn. like not, not nine thousand. I don't put you on the spot, brother. But is your collection more crazy than Chris Brown's collection? Then who? Chris Brown's collection, in your opinion? Chris who? Chris Brown. His collection. Oh, Chris Brown. Well, I mean, Chris Brown is a zillionaire. I mean, <laughs> do I have? I mean, I I know Chris Brown has a tremendous his shit crazy amount, though. but the type of shit I have can't touch it. You got some. You got some fire. That he, that, he, that he might not okay. have crazy okay. shit. Crazy shit. So I mean, I'm pretty sure he probably has more. He probably has you know some shit too. And Chris, and Chris is my is my man. So shout out to Chris. But shout out Chris. I got. It's very, it's very tough <laughs> for somebody to <laughs> not mean to fuck with the, the vocal meaning sneakers. Very, very, very tough. What's okay. the rarest sneaker you have? 
Mm. I have I have the mags, the Air Mags, which you know the back. That's the what people know as the Back, back to the Future. Back future. Mm. Um, you want to sell that, them? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have the Entourage <laughs> Air Force Ones that you know they in the TV in the TV show Entourage mm. that was given to the to the cast and shit. Um, mm. I have R.P. Kobe. This is probably the illest one. It's a it's a friends and family pack that they made for Kobe Bryant. It's Jordan 3s and Jordan 8s mm. that came in the pack in their Laker oh, colors. Damn. So that would probably be damn. Like, like the craziest. How'd you get those? Uh, yeah, I mean, just by knowing the right people <laughs> and paying a lot of fucking money. <laughs> I mean, the plugs, man, the plugs. Yeah, but paying, I mean, so not exactly plugs. When they charge you, how much they charge? I mean, sneakers now is crazy. The gold entourage just went for $113,000. You know, I, I'll say this because I, I used to be a, a Jordan head myself. I used to collect Jordans only, uh, and I'm a big fan of the retros. All those that you mm-hmm. mentioned, I, I, you know, I have a deep love for. Pause. Um, my thing that killed it for me, bro, was the resellers. Man, like they came in and they fucked it up for everybody, bro. Like fucked it up like, for everybody. Like, and I, w- I remember, and maybe I, to me, I, I remember the resellers came in like right around 2009, 2010, and they just fucked for everybody bro they would come in and buy multiple pairs and hype beast it up and you know and then resell them and everything like that because with the internet it became a business so like uh you know it came like a- it's like i hate them i can't get mad at them but i fucking hate them yeah but i but i, but I can't get mad i mean they're in it for a different reason yeah, right. they're yeah. in it to make bread they're not yeah. they don't give a shit about getting a fly about getting sneaky they don't have a passion for sneakers they have a passion for making money yeah, yeah. You know i mean so i mean it's their business and they and they know my nigga hate me all you want you're gonna buy it no, it's true. Cause you want it, and we just gotta sit there like, "Yo, fuck you here, just yeah. give me." Because that's so, the dude that's in front of you in Foot Locker buying two, three pairs, whatever mm-hmm. it is. He's like, "Fuck, man." He I thought like they limit you now or not? Nah. Huh? They don't. Yeah, like, they limit, limit you, you now. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah now, yeah. yeah, now is. Yeah, you can only get like yeah. one. Are you you did a collab with Dia Dior. Uh, you want to do any more collabs? Dia Dior, shout out Dia Dior, Foot Locker. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, anyone got, come in? I got my own sneaker. I mean, fire. So I got two pairs actually. Two two pairs. One of them is based is like it's based on like the the New York Lotto, and the other one is based on it was a New York club way back in days, way way before our time called Studio Fifty Four, where I mean just anybody who was everybody that was there, you know, from Eddie Murphy, Prince, Michael Jackson, John Travolta, you know, it was just a crazy what, club. What was that? Was it in Manhattan? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And um, I mean, it was probably gone way before before we was even old enough to even go to school and shit. Mm. But um, so those were the inspirations. Uh. It's we're looking for either November twenty seventh re- re- release date or n- December first or fourth, whatever is the first Saturday in December. Okay. Um, it's only two hundred pairs made worldwide of both. They got my meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that meme, that legendary meme, mm-hmm. bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. I might be there for you. Very busy, man. But um, uh, what's the name? Yeah, it's only two hundred pairs made of each. Um, and they're only coming out in Foot Locker in New York City only. So it's gonna be super duper mm, exclusive, damn. super super duper rare. So get there, get a pair. I'm telling you, damn. Okay, what's the retail gonna be on them joints? Two hundred, I believe. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. they're gonna be five, gone. Five, they're gonna yeah. be a thousand by the end of the day, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For, hope so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but actually, actually, I don't. I don't give a fuck because I'm not gonna get paid off the resale money. So I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Uh, okay, let's hear. Uh, trade the gem. Uh, do Flip really be finding you out of nowhere? I don't know, man. That guy's crazy, man. He just be popping up random. <laughs> shout out, shout out to Queens Flip. Oh okay. yeah, he does those like uh, crazy skits on yeah. Instagram and shit, just popping mm-hmm. out of nowhere. Oh okay, okay. Yeah, Queen Flips or whatever. Okay, I never, I never. Shout out to him. Okay. Uh, anything else, Chris? No, we good. Are we good. Okay, All so right. uh, last question. See. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me see here. My bad. I, yeah, I got you, so sidetracked with the with the balance stuff, guys. Do me a quick favor. I only see like 1.8k likes, bro. And there's like almost four, like thir- almost 3,700 y'all in here. Yo, like the goddamn video, bro. Okay, I'm gonna show with some girls after this as well, so it's gonna be lit. Yeah, they're here right now. Oh so. yeah, y'all uh, niggas, y'all, I bet y'all gonna be liking that shit then. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Barely, man. Uh, well, you know what? Cool. We'll just say, uh, Con, where can the people find you, bro? Yeah, right, what you. upcoming? Oh no, 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 tell us about your acting real quick. Yeah. Oh, oh. So, um, transition had, actor. Yeah, I did a movie with uh, that Eminem pr- produced called Body. Um, shout out to Eminem. What yeah, was it like me and him? him. Uh, I actually didn't meet him. You didn't Imagine, meet him? No, yet? no, no. I, I, I didn't. But um, I was actually supposed to do one a long t- t- time ago, also with him. Well, that that he suggested before, um, but that one didn't happen. But if I did that, um, and it is really—I don't even want to even say acting is really more transition, more just towards being a TV personality. Mm-hmm. Um, so like I just did this commercial for the Spider-Man movie, um, Fire. So that hey. should be dope. Um, 
And I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm going to say it. Oh, oh <laughs> it's an exclusive, guys. Here you go. It's actually super exclusive. I'm actually scared. They might be like, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> But um, your MTV Raps is coming back, and I'm gonna be the host. Hey! So, there you go, man. I'm about to be lit. That's gonna be fire. To be Congratulations, thank bro. You, thank you, thank Fuck you, yeah, bro. man. Just Yo, that, that, hey, that's that, hey, that, that's. I can't really think of a better. You know yeah, what I'm nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Fresh your fit. Yo, that's, that's what's up, bro. That's hard, man. That's hard. Oh nah, man, congrats, bro. That's fucking lit, man. Yeah, your MTV rap, like yo, that that's. Well, I haven't seen new MTV raps. That's what, legendary, though. Yeah, like crazy, like '90s. Yeah, fucking crazy. What the hell? That's, 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 we got we to tune in. Yo, mm-hmm. uh, yo, uh, any anything else you want to tell the people as far as any like, last uh, thoughts, uh, uh, announcements, um, anything else you want to say? Nah, shout out to everybody for pulling up. I mean, shout out to fresh to fresh and fit. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Conceited NYC, and that's actually everywhere. That's my Twitter, my gram, my YouTube. If you into the sneakers, you'll love the YouTube channel. I do my weekly pickups. I mean. And you'll see the crazy shit and that I caught for the below week. Description, below. Guys. All his below links that. are below in the description, man. Support him. And uh, yo, congratulations on that, bro. Are you going right. to see you return to a battle soon or no? I don't know. That I don't know. I don't know. Um, Let the man rest. I'm man. Not, Let him rest. I'm not going to say no, but it's it's possible. I just don't know when. Yeah. Okay. Just the money's got to be right and they got to make it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, the money they're offering is... It's crazy, but I don't want it to be based on the money because I'm gonna go in there and just fuck up my whole legacy. Right, I'm going there for the bread. Oh, that's a big bag. Okay, boom, I'll do it. Fuck around, get smoked. Fuck you, conceited. Why the fuck did we give you all this bread? <laughs> you know I mean, so I'm gonna be the Billy Floyd. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I, I, I wanna all the way up. I, I wanna come back when I'm like when I know I'm like, I right, boom. I could do. I'm this. ready to kill some. I mean, I'm. I just don't have the hunger or that focus there no, no, no more. Right. I mean, back back then, you know, we they, they would have said five thousand dollars for a battle. What <laughs> would have been crazy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, on a come up. Yeah. So I mean, but you know, now it's just. I mean, even though, and it's a lot of it's a lot of money in battle rap now. A lot. Mm-hmm. It's big. I mean, but yeah, it's it's a, it, a battle rap has like become globalized, bro. It's, yeah. There's so many leagues now, so mm-hmm. much money, and people mm-hmm. love it. Like I said, the industry backs it now. You got yeah. Drake damn near hosting events like top rappers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 for real because people know how tough it is. So, um, cool. Cool, man. Yo, guys, we got a show, another show, show here that we're going to have here. You guys heard a lot of exclusives on this one, bro. Yep. Send this video to a friend. Share this shit, man. Let it get up in the algorithm. And uh, yeah, man, check out Khan's content, bro. And go it's follow him stuff. as well, man. Yeah, go follow him on Instagram. Show go follow love. him on YouTube. And uh, subscribe. And uh, yeah, man, we'll catch you guys back in a little bit. Peace. 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 Peace.